Hello! Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today is going to be kind of a bonus video. I'm going to be talking just a little bit about the Orly Color Pass for Spring 2021 and then showing you some swatches. Uh, my hands are, you can decide the state they're in and then pass judgment as you will, but no amount will make them look better. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how they work, how many coats you need, what the colors look like on camera. I would say that how they show up on camera is pretty pretty true to how I see them in real life. I mean, obviously, you know, it's a camera. But, um, and also, I'm not great with colors, so take all of that commentary with a grain of salt. I've been wearing them for about a week now. So this whole hand is from the collection. It's holding up pretty well. I also use the Orly Bonder as the base coat, and uh, it's been about a week, so you know, not quite testing the two-week claim, they say, but I have been doing a lot of dishes and they're holding up pretty darn well. I would say there is a little bit, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. You can see there's a little bit of shrinkage on this nail, but uh, I usually get that anyway with my Sesh Beat top coat, even if I like, I wrap the tip like eight times. Um, you know, cover the the edge, but uh, still get it. So if you get that, and then also uh, this one it had um, shrinkage as well too. Can you like see? No, but uh, this one did as well. So um, those two colors had some issues with it, but the yellow, the orange, the light blue, all totally fine. Um, these two are from. As you'll see, the fall collection, these two right here, and then these two are from this collection, so you can kind of see there's some similarity there. Here's the yellow. Um, so yeah, you'll see them swatched just when you put them on, and uh, yeah, you can decide for yourself what you think. So let's cut to trying this on. Hello, you've got my nails here. Hope you're doing well. So these are my nails. Um, I've prepped them a little bit, uh, cleaned up the cuticles, put on some base coats by hand. I have on the Orly Bonder rubberized base coat. I also got this in the spring 2021 Orly Color Pass, so I'll be testing that out too just to see how I like it. So with that being said, let's get into some swatches. So first up, we've got Can You Dig It, which is this color right here. It's the red in this collection. So let's see what this looks like. So this is going to be the first coat. All right, so that's one coat looking pretty darn good. Next up, we've got the orange in the palette. This is Kitchulator. So this is going to be the first coat of Kitchulator. All right, so that's coat number one. Next up, I'm doing the yellow in the collection. This is Here Comes the Sun. So this is coat number one of Here Comes the Sun. All right, there we go. All right, next up we've got Happy Camper, which is this nice light blue. Here's the first coat. All right, that's the first coat. Let me do some cleanup real, real quick. Okay, so that's the first coat. Next up, we've got Let the Good Times Roll, which is this more medium blue. I don't know why the label looks so weird on this one. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but I don't know, I just thought I'd note it. Here's the first coat. Got a hair in it. That's on me, not on Orly. All right, hair has been removed and here's the first coat. Next up we've got Feeling Foxy, wah, wah. and this is a very dark, very cool gray purple. Here's the first coat. All right, here's the first coat of that. Second coat of this one. All right, there's the second and probably last coat of that one. This one is really thick. Second coat here. There we go. On to number two. 
second go with this one. All right, coat number two for that is done. Number two here. There we go. Second layer. And there we go. All right, so now I just wanted to compare the two colors from the fall collection, which was like desert themed, I think, just because I think they're worth comparing because they're a little bit similar. First up, I have Midnight Oasis. And the second one I want to compare is Sagebrush. Here's the first coat of that. Second layer. Coat number two. All right, there we go. So here we go, lots of colors. Let me do my thumbs and then slap a top coat on these. Be back in a bit. All right, so these are the nails. Got a top coat on, looking all right. Uh, tell me what you think. These are the actual colors in the collection right here. Got some repeats here and here, the yellow and the medium blue. But otherwise, that's what we've got. These two are from the fall collection that I just wanted to swatch to compare. I think this one is obvious, like they're obviously different, but I think if you get close, they're, I think they're worth comparing. Um, I did it anyway. Um, so there we go, that's the whole collection. And now I'm gonna pop you back to Upright Katie. All right, so those are the swatches. I hope they were helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with these colors. They're really they're really interesting having them on my hand. I think this hand looks great. Like I think these, hand, these colors all look great together. I think this is an interesting color story. I think this would make some great nail art if I was you know, better at that, so maybe I'll try. Keep uh, an eye on my Instagram to see if that's something I attempt. Um, this hand I like less, but it could just be I have like one yellow nail. That's not like great. Um, it's a little darker. But like individually, I'm I'm not sold on some of the colors, if that makes sense. So I don't know if like this red would look good on my whole hand. Would this yellow look good on my whole hand? I think I know for a fact that this, you can see how crooked this pinky is. I broke it. Um, it doesn't like go all the way. I broke it. Um, gross warning. Uh, like maybe you can see like it bends crooked. Uh, yeah, I broke it playing kickball in like fifth grade or something. But yeah, I know for a fact that this blue would probably not look great on my whole hand. But it looks good next to all of these, right? Let me know what you think. Maybe I'll do like I'll just wear my nails out and do like a whole hand of each. Like and then you can swipe through and say if any of them look bad. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I have classes, I'm busy, but maybe I'll do it anyway. Um, I do think that these two colors are uh, would definitely look good, but I also have like these two colors, which are, these two are reading more similar on camera than I think they are in real, in real life. This one's definitely more tealy um, than it's reading, but uh, I think those would look great all through, but I already have kind of colors like them. So anyway, hope the swatches were helpful. Hope these random musings were helpful. I do think it's a great, collection um, in the sense that I think all the colors look great together. Now it's just time to try them. Are they great on their own? Hydration break. I got hooked into the kombucha. Jackie and Ina got me. Um, I have this really beautiful fermentation book and I was gifted some fermentation stuff and I've done some pickling but maybe that's next because I can't keep paying four dollars for that. Um, so, with that out there, let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite color? Did you all up in the corner? One of them. Who knows which one? Um, I'll link to the opening video. So, did you have a favorite in the opening video? Maybe this changed your mind. Let me know down below or uh, anywhere. You know, send it out psychically and maybe I'll pick it up. I'll try. I'm a little caffeinated. Maybe it's the, it's the beach. Who knows? Uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Check back on Sundays and Wednesdays for some more videos. Also, check my Instagram to see if any bonus videos are posted, like this one. Also, some flat lays, you know, just general posts and the crap you see on this uh, channel. But uh, I am there. Thank you again for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day.